Happy Wednesday, everyone. This is Marion for the Diary of a Gender Fluid channel. And I'm sorry I'm not as energetic as normal, but this week's topic is mental health. And let's just say I haven't been taking good care of mine over the years. I've not been dealing with depression and dysphoria in a good way. Um, I think the problem for me was I kept searching for things outside of me to fix me when... This is a very cliche thing to say, but things started changing for me when I realized that I can find happiness in random things without having to look for them. I'm going to list a few things that have helped me through some particularly bad days. Uh, one of them is a poster you can see behind me, which is the 90s band Hansen. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that 1996 is a very long time ago and some of you weren't even born. Some of the the other people on this channel weren't even born. <laughs> like it really does date me, doesn't it? I was 10 when Hanson became a thing and only recently have I realized how much their music has helped me through, well, the shitty things that life does to you when you're not, when you don't fit the mold. When you're not a cookie from a cookie cutter. Other musicians include Muse, the British artist, Matt Bellamy. Uh, Emma Blackery, young uh, British YouTuber slash musician. She's brilliant. She's hilarious. I'll leave a link in the description. She's absolutely fantastic. Uh, another YouTuber would be Connor Manning, who has sort of taken his audience through his ups and downs. He's a, shall we say, strongly opinioned individual. And Connor is just brilliant. I love the energy that they've got. And lastly, of the on the YouTube list, I would like to mention the technical difficulties. That's for British people um, getting together and playing games that probably shouldn't be played, let alone on camera. <laughs> it used to be a podcast where they played reverse trivia, where one of them would have a trivia deck and give them an answer and the other the other three would have to come up with the question or preferably a completely different question. Uh, currently they're working on a third, I think, fourth season of Citation Needed where one of them gets um, a Wikipedia article in front of them, just names it and the others have to figure out what it is or preferably what it could have been and honestly this show <laughs> it still has me giggling just thinking about past episode it's brilliant these guys are fantastic just i'll leave a link to all of these in the description um another thing i want to really touch upon is helping other people help you um, I didn't get the help I needed because I didn't explain myself properly to people. Like, people would try to help me, but obviously if I didn't tell them, how on earth could I expect them to understand me and know me and help me? And these were really, these were people with the best intentions, but I didn't provide them with the resources that they needed. Things I would have done, had I known, would be like make a comic, or a little sketch video, or just write them a letter. Just walk them through what a day for me is like. From getting up and not wanting to get up, or 
you know, standing in front of my wardrobe and just hating everything, even though I love my clothes. My clothes are great, but just no. And that is just something that people who don't suffer this, suffer from this, cannot understand. Just like for a lot of us, it's it's very hard to imagine a world without depression or without gender dysphoria or OCD in my case. I'm not sure where I was going with that. But on the topic of clothing, I got I got a hoodie. I got a new hoodie. And it's so warm and it's so fuzzy and I love this thing. It's great. <laughs> I kind of don't like how it's gr how it's it's light gray though, but it's the only hoodie that they had that didn't have a print on it. So gray funky hoodie it is. I love this thing. I don't want to take it off ever. Little things like this also help make life a bit more bearable. This is a practical thing. This is something that I will use pretty much every day, except for when it's in the laundry, I guess. That is another thing that I, I would like to warn young people for. Don't become a hoarder. Don't, don't go on shopping sprees and try to fill the void with stuff, because that's, that's going to be around and it's going to smother you and Well, at one point, you will just wake up one morning and you'll just go, what the fuck am I doing with all this sh little stuff lying around? Like, it literally doesn't serve you. You don't need it. If it's not clothing or something that's otherwise functional, just don't buy it. This is advice I probably should have given myself. This is in the wrong week, the wrong video. But it's... I feel like a lot of people might benefit from this advice. Like, don't try to fill up an, an emotional void with stuff or food. Because it just doesn't work. It just doesn't. Except for tea. Tea solves everything. Chamomile tea is... <laughs> if, one, if one edible or drinkable thing has ever saved my life, it's chamomile, chamomile tea. Oh, I, I, yeah, I used to live on the stuff. And mango juice. Goodness. Find something that's nice and that, that won't harm you too much. That works for me. Right. Um. Yeah. I'm really, I can't bring myself to being energetic and chipper. Sorry. See you next week.